Hey guys, welcome to another Zebra tutorial and this week as I've promised I'm going to talk about the um, waveform uh, wave edit modes in the Zebra oscillators. First off, uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out adsrsuns.com um, and then we'll jump straight into it. We have uh, four options here to choose from. We have uh, Geomorph, Spectromorph, Geoblend and Spectroblend. And Geomorph and Spectromorph when you open them up, um, they kind of look the same um, because it's the same editing editing window, so it looks exactly the same. And the same is true for Geo Blend and Spectro Blend; they also look pretty much the same. But there's uh, there's quite a, a big difference there. In uh, Geo Morph, the big difference between Geo Morph and Spectro Morph is that in Geo Morph you actually draw the waveform. So what you draw here, that is the waveform that you're gonna get. So in this case it looks like a saw and when we look at the oscilloscope on the right you see it really is a saw and if I would do the same in Spectromorph it's not so much a saw, it's a saw but it's a little bit duller and you can see that the edges are um, rounder. This is the difference, this, this roundness here and then when we go to the Geomorph, when we do that again, it's a lot more bright and a lot more like a, a real saw. So, here we really draw the waveform that we get. If we do this, we'll get a square wave. And um, there are some other things that we can do here. If we right click in this window, we can insert a point and we can insert up to I believe 32 points and now we can select a few of those points just by dragging and selecting and then we can choose from these options we can smooth select it and then it's gonna make it more round so for example if I wanted to make a sine wave I could draw sort of a, a triangle like this this can go there this is fine and then I would select all of them and I would say smooth selected and it's, then it's gonna look a little bit more like a sine wave let's check the oscilloscope yeah it's not a very beautiful sign but it's close um, then we have linear selected it does exactly the opposite where it um, makes straight, straight lines so now it's a triangle again and we have peak selected and this one's pretty cool and makes for an interesting waveform makes it look like this um, so that's the beauty of this mode, what you draw is really uh, really what you get the last two options are distribute all and this is gonna even, evenly space all the dots that you've drawn in so the intervals here are exactly the same and then we have line up selected and it makes a nice line of the of everything then we have this last option and that has nothing to do with the drawing but it's a copy wave set and what this, this means is that um, when I go to another oscillator I can paste the whole wave set that I copied there so that is not just one uh, one wave window but the whole wave set so wave 1 through 16 because we have all these different waves here that belong to one oscillator maybe I forgot to mention that but um, so you copy the whole wave set, all the all the sixteen uh, waves in here. Some other things that you uh, need to know. I don't know if you know this already, but if you hold Control and you click here, or sorry, um, yeah, Control, you can uh, choose between morph, duplicate, and exchange. And this is gonna do something with the order of the um, waves here, or it's gonna morph the wave towards the other wave. So if I hold this and I click here and I say morph now it changes all the waves slowly to that other wave and this means that when I use this wave knob here on the oscillator it's gonna it's gonna have a smooth transition uh, to another wave but I, I don't want to go um, in too much depth about that because first I want to talk about the uh, spectromorph and the spectromorph that is um, the one that basically looks the same as the geomorph and the difference here is that we draw the harmonics and not the, not the wave itself 
So if you know a little bit about harmonics, you know that um, a square wave, for example, contains only odd harmonics, and uh, a saw wave contains all, pretty much all harmonics at an even level. So that means that when I would do this, and I'm gonna select these and say linear to get straight lines. That means when I draw this, I would have drawn in all harmonics because this is just the harmonic spectrum. So this sh should look like uh, a bright, a bright sound wave. So let's check the um, oscilloscope. Yep, and it does. And we can make it a little bit less bright by taking away some of the upper harmonics, like this. Now it's more like a normal uh, normal saw wave. So that is how to work with the uh, spectromorph. And that's also all I got time for this week. Next week we'll talk about the geo blend and the spectro blend. And um, in the meantime you can go and experiment with this and draw some waves. And remember you can all, always save the waves here. And there are basically, in my opinion, uh, two ways of uh, drawing the waves. You can go very crazy and just draw something like this uh, which doesn't make sense but in most cases it will, it will sound very cool and unique or you can um, really take a scientific approach and try to um, rebuild a waveform from uh, another preset or uh, sample waveforms and insert them in Zebra like I showed last week so uh, have fun with that and I'll see you back next week and then we're gonna check on the uh, these two modes Geo Blend and Spectral Blend. Thanks!